I'm Kimberly Kay with your entertainment report from MidHudsonNews.com. An opening ceremony from the mother country with a beetle, a queen, and Mr. Bean proved irresistible for viewers in the United States with a record-setting 40.7 million people watching NBC's first night of Summer Olympics coverage. The Nielsen Company said Saturday that London's opener was the most watched opening ceremony of any summer or winter Olympics. It topped the previous mark of 39.8 million people who watched the 1996 Atlanta Olympics begin and the 34.9 million who watched the colorful first night from Beijing four years ago. The London ceremony featured an unusual made-for-TV stunt featuring actor Daniel Craig portraying James Bond, escorting the real-life Queen Elizabeth II to the ceremony, and ended with Paul McCartney's Hey Jude. But according to Twitter, the biggest spike in tweets came when actor Rowan Atkinson, Mr. Bean, appeared in a Chariots of Fire homage. An estimated 5 million comments about the opening ceremony were made on social media. It was more interesting to women, by the way, apparently as 58% of the comments were from women and 42% from men. It was the most, tel most watched television event in the U.S. since the winter when 39.9 million people watched the Grammy Awards and 39.3 million people saw the Oscars. Well, Queen Elizabeth II toured London's Olympic heartland Saturday hours after she surprised a worldwide audience by starring as the newest Bond girl. The Queen got a bird's eye view of the Olympic Park complex that was atop the 377-foot orbit sculpture beside the stadium, where on Friday night she officially opened the 2012 Games. Her husband, Prince Philip, and London Mayor Boris Johnson accompanied her as she rode up two floors to the sculpture's elevator to meet designers. Anish Kapoor, dressed in a royal blue silk dress, crepe coat, and matching hat, the Queen could be heard remarking at the views of the London skyline and countryside up to 20 miles, and she was also wearing a brooch given to her in 1948. That was the last time London hosted the Olympics four years before her accession to the throne. Johnson said the Queen had told him she was very, very impressed with the success of her first film appearance, her first dramatic venture. It was very funny and seems to have gone down particularly well with the international audiences, she said. Well, the choreographer of a somber segment in the Olymp London Olympics opening ceremony says she's disappointed that NBC decided not to show it to an American audience. Londoner Akram Khan created a segment described as an expression of the struggle between life and death. Spectators were asked to display pictures of loved ones who could not be there. NBC didn't show the segment Friday night, instead airing Ryan Seacrest's interview with swimmer Michael Phelps. Khan said that he was disappointed and that maybe NBC thought the segment was too truthful. Well, in local entertainment news, it's Shakespeare's Measure for Measure, and it is running Friday, Saturday, and Sunday through, well, not only Sunday, this Sunday, but throughout the month of August and through Labor Day. It will be at the Camo property in Woodstock, and it's at 5 p.m. You can bring a picnic and wine and have a wonderful evening. That's your latest entertainment report for a new update daily. Log on to MidHudsonNews.com. I'm Kimberly Kay.